One of the most consistent retorts or responses you will get to fight analysis videos is that all, all of that analysis is over complication of things that are actually quite simple and instinctual. At the end of the day, it all comes down to luck and grit. Now, recently I saw a couple of comments that fit at least parts and aspects of that description. That no, no comments had all of these things in, in one, but sometimes you run into those comments that say things along those lines. And this video isn't to tear down those opinions because I think those opinions are valuable which is why I want everyone to share their opinion in the first place, whether we agree or disagree. But one thing we can agree on is that you should have already have hit the like button by now. Okay. The instant thing that pops into my head is the contrast with every other sport in the world. For some reason, striking or at least boxing is looked at something that we don't need to study for. I guess some people don't need to study. Uh, uh, and I guess some people don't need to study as much as others, which is true for every other sport. But in football, film study is an absolute necessity. Understanding patterns, habits, tendencies, formation, plays, times of the game, things like that are all very important. Same thing in basketball and even in grappling, which is an adjacent concept in combat sports, an adjacent sport. Uh, even in grappling, no one looks down on film studies. They see the importance. They see how it transfers to actual physical success in real competition. But for some reason in, in striking combat sports, it's not true to the same degree. Notice how I say not to the same degree, not at all, but just not to the same level. And for that very reason, that is a big driver behind why this channel exists. People think striking is simple and that anyone can get lucky. We just had a recent example of how that's not true with uh, AJ. Hopefully we don't need reminders, but people always do. At the top level of striking, the athletes themselves may not be doing the film study, but the people that create the game plans for them absolutely do. I repeat, the people behind the scenes absolutely do. How do you think Terrence Crawford came equipped with the perfect set of tools to destroy Spence? And then after he credited his team so much and Bo Mac, uh, 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 Crawford's main trailer, uh, trainer, did a breakdown of Spence's whole style after the fight. How can Floyd Mayweather consistently trash talk his opponents about their specific habits, tendencies, weaknesses, unless he watched them, unless he watched film of them to know those things. Mike Tyson and Customato, Ali and Dundee, basically behind every great fighter, there's a great trainer or a great set of eyes that is watching and breaking down things, adding things to the style of their fighter or the fighters doing it themselves. So instincts are important, but no one would ever want to push the idea that instincts overcome hard work. So it makes no sense to push the idea that instincts overcome studying and understanding. Of course, that's not a universal rule. I'm just trying to say that instincts aren't enough. Some people start sharper than others, but that doesn't mean grindstones don't have a use. When you see fighters doing specific drills, hitting the pads in a specific way, that's very purposeful. They are sharpening the right tools for the right occasion. Whether they decided on those drills or not, or their team did, someone is always studying on the elite level. Now, Maybe when you get down to lower levels, people don't study. And I would argue there's a correlation there for a reason. But the whole point, and it's, it's quite a simple point, is that instincts and will are important. You'll never hear me outright eliminate ideas or say this thing isn't important because I think uh, so many things go into combat, which is why it requires so much discussion about all the elements. But this channel isn't about just eliminating ideas. It's about acknowledging that two things can be true at once. While instinct and will and grit and all those things are very important, they do not replace the in-depth understanding of studying and analysis. The instincts you are talking about, in fact, the right counters at the right time, moving your head at the right time, the defense, all those, all those things seem like luck and just like natural stuff. But when you look into the fighters training regimens, those specific counter shots that land at the right time, you're like, why is he so accurate? How did he time that so perfect? Why is his defense so perfect? They come from training for, for, for specific drills. And those drills are designed by scientists behind the scenes that crafted that regiment for that specific instance. No, I'm not saying every fighter has a lab where they have 15 geniuses watching hours of film study like AI. And I'm not saying fighters always study. I'm just saying that processing that information does help and it's not irrelevant. Adaptability isn't contrary to pre-planned directives. In fact, the two reinforce each other. I'll talk more about that in the future, but also remember, I also remember another comment um, 
of someone asking a great question. How does someone overcome an opponent that's bigger, stronger, faster, hell, e even smarter? I said, study, study, study. That's, that's what I said, because understanding is the key that can unlock any door. If you understand your strengths and your weaknesses to a great degree, and if you understand your opponent's strengths and weaknesses to a great degree, then you can maximize uh, what you do great and what they do bad and, and, and vice versa. And so you could put yourself in the best possible situation if you study the path to get there. And like I said, this video was inspired by comments. The comments you leave help me grow. It helps us all grow and they inspire topics like these for everyone to come together so that we can talk and learn together in the community as fight scientists. That is all I am out. I got some analysis dropping pretty soon today, actually.